you gather together this day, we celebrate with the whole church the feast day of Saint Ignatius of Loyola, the great Spanish saint of the 16th century, founded the Society of Jesus, which became uh, a remarkable missionary force in the life of the church. We ask for his prayers today that we, in our own way, will be missionaries of God's love. Lord Jesus, you are Prince of Peace. Lord, help us. Lord Jesus, you lead us to the Father. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of God. Lord, help us. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. The God who raised up Saint Ignatius of Loyola in your church to further the greater glory of your name, grant that by his help we may imitate him in fighting the good fight of man and merit to receive from him a crown in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in union the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Whatever you eat, whatever you drink, whatever you do at all, do it for the glory of God. Never do anything offensive to anyone, to Jews or Greeks, or to the Church of God. Just as I try to be helpful to everyone at all times, not anxious for my own advantage, but for the advantage of everybody else, so that they may be saved. Take me for your model as I take Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called. The Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. And I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Revere the Lord, you his saints. They lack nothing, those who revere him. Strong lions suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Alleluia, alleluia. How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Great crowds accompanied Jesus on his way, and he turned and spoke to them. If any man comes to me without hating his father, mother, wife, children, brothers, sisters, yes, and his own life too, he cannot be my disciple. Anyone who does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. And indeed, which of you here, intending to build a tower, would not first, down, first sit down and work out the cost to see if he had enough to complete it? Otherwise, he laid the foundation stone and then found himself unable to finish the work 
the onlookers will all start making fun of him and saying, here is a man who started to build and was unable to finish. Or again, what king, marching to war against another king, would not first sit down and consider whether with 10,000 men he could stand up to the other who advanced against him with 20,000. If not then, while the other king was still a long way off, he would send envoys to sue for peace. So in the same way, none of you can be my disciple unless he gives up all his possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. As a young man, Saint Ignatius of Loyola had very little interest in faith and religion. In fact, he dedicated his life at that point to a life as a soldier and was destined maybe for a very successful military career. However, he was injured in the Battle of Pamplona against the French in the mid 16th century and he had to spend a long time in recovery and recuperation. It was suggested to him that he would read the life of Christ and the life of various saints. At first he wasn't keen to do so, but eventually accepted that invitation and began his reading. And during the course of that reading, his heart and mind was changed completely and he decided that he would give up his career in the military and dedicate his life as a religious. He learnt to speak Latin, he went to Rome and after a few unsuccessful little journeys he was ordained a priest and along with other very keen and zealous young men he founded the Society of Jesus and aligned themselves to, into the service of the Pope and thus began the great religious movement of the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, which of course Pope Francis is a member of. We also, in this country, have a great deal to thank St. Ignatius and his Jesuits, Jesuits, because during the time of the Reformation, many young men from our country went abroad to the English College in Rome and other seminaries to train to be priests and became Jesuits and would come back to England to continue the proclamation of the good news in union with the Church of Rome obviously very much at odds to the designs of the religious authorities of their day who were reforming the English church after the Reformation and break from Rome by Henry VIII. Jesuits today still are very important in the life of the church and we keep them, especially the missionary Jesuits, in our thoughts and prayers at this time. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. So let us turn to the Lord with our prayers and intercession too. We pray for the church, and maybe especially today pray for Pope Francis, who is heart as a Jesuit priest, and also our pontiff, that he may be blessed and that he may also continue in his missionary work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our world and its many needs. We pray for those who continuously work for peace and reconciliation amongst the nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves in our journeys of faith, that we may be inspired by the life of Christ and the lives of the saints, as Saint Ignatius was. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick and lingering. May they find the healing presence and touch of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and those whose anniversaries occur at this time. May they be granted rest and peace with the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we ask for the prayers of Mary, Queen of Heaven, as we pray to you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, the woman, and blessed is the fruit. 
Jesus who died in Jesus. Holy Mary, the mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. We make these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of heaven. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given to you in the heavens and made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord save us from the hands of the Lord Jesus. O God, who raised up Saint Ignatius of Loyola in your church to further the greater glory of your name, grant that by his help we may imitate him in fighting the good fight of man. And merit to receive with him the crown in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and every day to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For as on the festival of Saint Ignatius, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, in the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end, we oh. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy the is given to you, by sending down those spirits upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed, and then to willingly yield to his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your place. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Ignatius of Loyola, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. The Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant to her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the Son of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only so the word, and my soul shall be healed. Just a reminder that I will be distributing Holy Communion from the foot of the sanctuary, first of all to the people on this side of the church, and then to the people on this side of the church. If you're in the middle, you decide whether you're on this side or that side.
and life stream, we pray with that act of spiritual healing. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot in this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into their hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. <coughs> Let us pray. May the sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving in honour of Saint Ignatius, O Lord, bring us to exalt your majesty without end. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is in. And speak to God.